हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल प्रोग्रामिंग विद द पर्पज सो टुडे आई विल बी बेसिकली हेल्पिंग यू क्रिएट अ प्रोडक्टिविटी ऐप विच इज़ अ हैबिट ट्रैकर ऐप इट इज़ गोइंग टू हेल्प यू क्रिएट न्यू हैबिट्स एंड चेंज सम ऑफ योर हैबिट्स एंड अवॉइड सर्टन हैबिट्स सो देर आर लॉट ऑफ एप्स इन दिस एरिया आई एम गोइंग टू बेसिकली जस्ट क्रिएट अ सिंपल डेमो ऐप फॉर यू सो द फर्स्ट स्टेप इज क्रिएटिंग एन इंट्रोडक्शन स्क्रीन दैट विल गिव यू थ्री टू फोर स्क्रीन इन विच यू कैन गिव अ ब्रीफ ओवर व्यू ऑफ योर ऐप and after that you are going to basically create a simple landing screen that is going to display all the habits that you have entered in this app and their progress so let's get started so the first step is the creation of introduction screen view inside the content view so i have created a struct it has four variables a title description and image name that is common among all screens and then there is a variable that is going to basically add some of the changes inside the last screen uh, basically a button so uh, we are going to create a ui of this introduction screen view and then call it inside the content view to create a tabbed view of three to four screens for the introduction of the app so what we have added up till now is basically an image with the variable name image name then a text of title with a certain properties and then a description of basically that title and then if it's a last page we are going to add a button with the name of get started and adding some of its properties here so now what we are doing here is we have added another view with the name of landing screen and we have added another variable to basically uh, display that screen or not inside the view so we have a full screen cover which will be set to true by the variable is presented and its content will be the landing screen that we have created so it is going to basically move us to the first screen of our app after introduction so once done with the introduction screen view we are going to move to content view and i am going to add a tab view there and add some of its properties and then i am going to create four introduction screen views using the view i have already created
now i'm going to run the app and as you can see that the introduction screens are set properly according to the images and text that we have set and it is going to take us to the landing page which just displays hello world for now Now I am adding two of the files to my project. One is basically tasks data which will contain the static data to display on the landing screen and another one is basically tasks which is a class that will hold all the tasks that we are going to create for, to display on the app. So our task class is very simple. It has an ID name, frequency type and frequency R. Basically, we are not going to handle them now because we are going to use them when we are going to schedule those uh, basically activities or tasks. A progress is basically how much we have completed that task depending upon the frequency that we have set while creating it. And then an image name, which is basically just a pictorial form of the image. And then an init method, that is, which is going to basically set all the values of this class. There is an enum frequency type that is basically uh, is going to basically help us schedule an app. So a scheduler will be can be daily, weekly or monthly, depending upon the type of habit that you want to work on. And the next is basically the task data file. You can see that I have added some of the tasks to it, almost three. And then there is a static variable of images, which is going to basically help us create new tasks when we are going to create another view. So just add these values here. We are going to basically use them on in the other part of the videos. Now let's move to the landing screen where we are going to create another view with the name of progress bar, which is basically going to display the task, its name and a progress bar around it, depending upon the progress. So it has two variables, a progress and a final progress. We have used two progress variables because we want to animate them from zero to a certain value. There is an image name, uh, which is basically which image we are going to display. And then there is a name and we are now going to create a view for that progress bar.
so in the view of the progress bar you can see that i've used the z stack which is basically an image and on the top of that two uh, circles one for unfit one is basically the unfilled and another one is the fill circle that shows the progress and after that there is a text name which is basically name of the task and we have aligned the z stack and text in a v stack and then we have added certain properties to it now on the appearance of this we are going to animate the progress so for that we have created a function update progress and we are going to call it on appear In the update progress function you have seen that i have animated with uh, basically the graph is dot ease in out and the duration is 2.0 basically two seconds and then there is a progress that is going to get updated with this animation in a span of two seconds Now let's create the actual landing screen which will basically contains a lazy V grid and what it is going to do is basically list all the tasks that we have inside the task data dot tasks and it is going to show them in the form of a progress bar view that we have already created and then there is another button which is same as that view we have created to basically add new tasks to our screen. So this is all for the landing screen view.
now when i played the code you can see that much of the data is not visible on the screen this is due to the reason that i forgot to set the background of my uh, landing screen app so i'm going to set it here while playing this app again and again you are going to basically witness an issue which is basically the introduction screens appearing again and again this is due to the reason that we haven't set any value inside the user defaults we have to set uh, a certain flag in the user default so that it only displays this introduction screens as once so we can do this after our initial testing or when deploying the app you can add that i'm going to add it uh, towards the end of this series so this is all so here the part one is completed and i'm going to add the further features in this app in my next part do not forget to subscribe to this channel and like and share this video with your friends and stay tuned for the next updates on this project and thank you for watching.